Okay, for those of you who are taking your benchmark test online, um, uh, I've created a little video so that you know exactly um, what kind of tools you might be able to use and how it's going to look. When you take your benchmark online, it may not look exactly like this, but it will be similar. You'll be able to see the test booklet and the questions, um, and then you'll put your, your questions on your answer sheet. Um, if you're at school, you'll have a paper copy, and then you can transfer your answers to the Scantron, but if you're strictly at home, um, you're kind of stuck with just this, this test on Polaris. So I want to make sure that you understand how all of the different tools work. You do have some online tools that you can use. You can um, go into toggle mode where it just shows you the questions, but for a writing test, you're probably going to need this passage. You can also highlight text. So for example, in question one, I know I need to pay special attention to sentence three. So one thing you might do is go uh, find the text that you want to highlight and then click up here um, for the highlighter. And then that way, as you're reading through, you might just pay special attention to those questions. You can also use a strike through. Um, I don't know that you'll need that to, to cross anything out. Uh, you can undo that format, so if you don't want to have that highlighter there anymore, you can always click the undo. Um, you'll need to, sorry, you'll need to reclaim what you want to, uh, what you don't want to highlight, and then um, do that. Um, you also have a scratch pad where you can make some notes, like A is wrong because, or I had trouble with this question. Um, when you take your math test online, there is a calculator, and that is what we call a floating calculator, and so I can move it around. You're not going to need it for the writing test, but when you take your math test online, uh, that calculator is there. And then um, there's also text-to-speech, so if you're the kind of person that does better by hearing um, the passage read to you, you can highlight specific text or you can turn text-to-speech on and hit play. Question 1. What is the most effective revision to make in sentence 3? And so it will read to you. Um, there is a spelling assistant um, where I'm not sure if that will work for um, the writing benchmark test because, you know, spelling is one of the skills that you're supposed to be practicing. So remember, on the writing benchmark test, there will be passages and revision or editing multiple choice questions, but then there's all also an essay. So in your test booklet, you're going to see a page that looks similar to this. It'll be prefaced with um, the title written composition as you flip through the page booklet, the booklet pages. But this is the actual um, prompt page. So remember, this information in, a, in the box could be a hook, it could be um, an example that you use within your writing, but this is not what you're writing about. We're not writing about the children's book, The Little Engine That Could. This is just a way to get your thinking started. Maybe you could use this um, in your essay if you so choose. Just remember, everyone's got this, so it might get a little boring after a while. Think carefully about the following question. Is a positive attitude necessary for success? This part, the right part, that is the one that we want to really pay attention to. This is where you're getting your topic for writing, okay? This is what you're going to respond to. Write an essay explaining whether a positive attitude helps a person be successful. For example, your prompt will probably, probably be different. And then they give you some reminders. On your Scantron sheet, it is possible, it's probable that this will be question 21 and there will be just a little text box for you to put your answer in. If you're taking this on paper, if you have a paper copy of the test, my suggestion is that you write out your essay first and then go type it into here. If you're at home, you can write it on paper and then type it into the text box. Um, you can write it on a Google Doc. You can open a, a Google Doc um, and write it there and then copy paste it into the text box. Um, but I would highly suggest you do some planning and creating before you get to this text box because this text box is very small and it's hard to see. Now, if you want to make this text box bigger, 
you can come right here to these three little lines and your arrow is going to be a double arrow now and you can actually make it as as big as you want okay you can keep expanding it so if you want to see everything that you've written um, you can do that right here okay so and then when you're done with everything there will be a submit button and um, just make sure you need to submit it if you have questions on the benchmark test please 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 reach out to your teacher especially if you're at home um, you only have a certain time amount to do this test so don't start it and walk away we want you to be successful we want to get some good data on you so that we know how to help you best before the star test in april if you have any questions please make sure to let your teacher know